All right, so our next question in the hashtag Ask Dr. Bud Gill series comes from someone with the username KissPiss12, and they want to know uh, their son, I believe, has molluscum contagiosum on their neck, and it continues to spread, and they want to know if there's anything that they can do about it. Um, so molluscum contagiosum is caused by, it's, it's a type of viral, viral infection of the skin. Um, it's actually caused by a pox virus. And uh, what you get are these little bumps on the skin, and very, very, very common in kids. Um, it's also pretty difficult to treat. So if you were to do absolutely nothing, um, in a few years, the molluscum just kind of burn themselves out and then just go away on their own. So my philosophy in treating these is to treat them in a way that's not gonna leave any permanent damage or any permanent scars. So there are ways to get them to go away pretty fast. And those typically involve surgical measures. You know, you can remove them uh, you know, manually. Uh, you can use something called a curette to remove them from the body. You can freeze them with liquid nitrogen. You can use something that causes the skin to blister. It's actually it's the blister beetle uh, juice, something called cantharidin. Um, but in my experience, you know, all of those treatments, even the cantharidin, which is not supposed to scar, all of those can leave a blemish behind. And you know, my philosophy again is because this is something that's going to go away on its own. If we did absolutely nothing, although it might take forever for that to happen, any treatment I employ, I don't want it to leave any permanent damage behind. So I frequently use a prescription cream that's called amiclovid, which basically stimulates the immune system to fight the virus that's causing this uh, eruption. And uh, I tell all my patients, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, it takes a while, it takes a lot of work, you have to apply the medication nightly or every other night, whatever regimen your dermatologist suggests. Uh, but over time, your immune system just gets smarter and realizes that, hey, these bumps aren't supposed to be here, and it starts to fight them on their own. And typically what happens when one goes away, they all just kind of go away pretty rapidly. So that's typically the way I'll treat them. I mean, sometimes I will, I will use the other modalities that I discussed, uh, more so in adults than kids. But um, you should talk to your dermatologist about that as a potential option, or he or she may have some other tricks up uh, his or her sleeve. So I hope that answers your question. Let's get it.